Hello, I'm Nico from Roomstyler.com. Roomstyler is a great platform to get and share inspiration on interior design, but even more, to draw your own space and give it the interior that you are looking for. And even better, you don't need special technical or drawing skills for this. Maybe some feeling for style, but that's about it. In this tutorial series, I will guide you through the Roomstyler drawing tool, and you'll have a good idea on how to draw your room as it is with walls, windows, doors, etc. So let's get started with lesson one. After you've signed up, you can click the green button to start the Room Styler tool. You'll get this welcome screen that asks you to start from scratch or load the design that you've saved in a previous session. Let's just start with a new page. So here's your camera in the middle of your drawing area. You will preview your room through this camera and it will display up here in this little screen. You can click and drag your canvas. Over here there's a selection of default room shapes and you can just pick one out and drag it into your drawing area. This is one that looks similar to my room. So I'm gonna click and drag it and place it over the camera. And notice that in a few seconds your preview will show up here. Now you can just click on a wall. And you see that this area is four and a half by four and a half meters. You can uh, change your units to feet or to meter up in the corner and next to it are buttons to zoom in and out. I want this wall over here to be six meters so I'm going to click and drag this wall and release it. And this wall has to be four meters in my room so click and drag and release. You can also split walls. If you click a wall you get these two icons. One is to remove the wall, the other one is to split it. And then you will get two sections. And if you move your mouse over to the end point you will get a blue dot and you can drag that. Um, actually I want another split here. And I want this section on an angle. So I have some kind of corner on this side. Uh, to do this, just take one of these blue dots, click and drag. And let's do that again. Click and drag. And notice that it will snap to points that are on the same line in the horizontal or the vertical direction. We started off with a predefined shape, but we can also draw a freestyle room wall by wall. For this we have this icon here in the top left. Let's make a second room attached to the first room on the left side. You can start anywhere you want, but I will start from this corner over here. Click and release. I move my mouse and I click and release for the first wall. I move my mouse again, I click and release for the second wall. And then I will finish my room on this side. Click. And release and notice that automatically a flooring is created once your walls enclose the area. So the freeform tool will let you create any room shape that you want. I've drawn my walls but now I want to set the ceiling height. For this you can click any wall in the canvas and in the sidebar on the left you will see the wall properties. If I change the height of this object to 2.5 meters for instance you will see the entire ceiling lowers in the preview screen. In the sidebar you can also change the thickness of the wall. I want the inner walls to be thin, so I pick thin and do the same for this wall. The last thing we will do is create an opening between the two rooms. The icon over here, the build icon, gives access to several functions. You can draw your walls, but you can also find doors and windows here. I click the doors. Within the doors tab, you'll get this list of door types. I'm just looking for a plain opening, and that's this one. I click and drag it on top of a wall and release. If you click the opening, you'll see its properties in the sidebar. I will set the height of the opening to match the ceiling height, which was 2.5 meters. Also, I want a much wider opening. I'm making it two meters. And I will drag it just in the center. 
you can see the opening appear in the preview and click maximize to see a bigger version. That's it for now. In the next tutorial I will show you how to add windows, add a view to the outside and we'll take a 3D photo of our room. Please subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.